Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is Whoopi speaking. And for tonight, I will try to show you something I have discovered by looking for uh, Mr. Kanaref. Uh, it is this, but uh, this Mr. Kanaref has also some other studies on the inertial uh, systems. The inertial system of Mr. Kanaref has been uh, uh, worked by Mr. here, you can see, Linevich, or Linevich. Okay, and you can see some photograph here, and the system of the patent here. Hmm, very interesting. So, as I had all the material to make a small replication, I did it. I show you how it works, if I can, because it's very difficult. Okay, you have here a motor which is spinning in the middle here a gear and this gear makes spin two outer gear with, as you can see here, this is not here, the imbalance weight, All right? Then this motor will shake, tac, 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 here and will transmit its power on this one-way bearings. It is something that it is one way it brings it, it, it can only turn uh, tuk, 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 and not return. Okay, I have made a lot of different testing, and here is a, a old uh, um, uh, uh, CD motor not uh, connected, only I added some weight to make some inertial. Okay, I will try to show something which puzzled me. Because, normally, if you put a torque on this motor to correspond with this motor, this motor has, has torque. It is not a, a easy flywheel. I will show you. If I put away here, it turns, but it is not a very good flywheel. Because, inside here, this is a motor. Okay? I don't use the motor or in generator. Okay. But what is interesting now, we we'll try to see if the torque transmitted from this motor here, with this shaking, to this motor have an influence on this motor. Hmm. I am not very clear because it is very complicated to understand. Right. Okay. I will try to show you now. Okay, I will put only 3 volts. It is very, very low, low motion. This cable here are almost no influence on the system. Alright? And this motor here is inside this base. I will modify the distance. Ooh. Okay, as it is like this, I will show you how it is made. Okay? You see the two gears okay in the middle here is a gear all is centered here and we, we put in this two very high quality uh, 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 bearings okay and I will make some tension on these uh, ropes here Kevlar ropes okay now I put inside here Okay, I will put the tension here on this here in the middle. It is not very easy to do. Sorry, be patient. Okay. Now I will put the power on. I will just make reason because it will make like this, you see. You see, this is turning. It is one way bearing here. So if I do like this, but normally as it is torque, this motor should turn like, like this, and this one like this. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Okay, first accelerating until I get the acceleration, and now what happened? Incredible. You see here the one-way bearings don't move. In position and 
but we have the torque here. We have a torque here and no torque here. Hmm. Very, very interesting, I think. And you see that the rope don't move. Okay, I think uh, I will show you something different now. Okay. I will disconnect everything. Take out here the motor. Hang it in the air. And put the power on. It is hanging on the cables, electric cables. And as you can see, there is no rotating movement. This is very puzzling. <clears throat> ah, perhaps Mr. Kanarev and Mr. Linevich has something very interesting in their study. Okay, thanks for watching and good night at all!